Marvel's Avengers, the video game. Uh, we just saw a new trailer, a uh, story trailer, and a new gameplay trailer. And the story trailer, you know, we learned a little bit more. Like, the game primarily focuses around Camilla Khan, which I, I thought that was cool. I was like, all right, that's cool, a new perspective, you know, especially with all the Avengers stuff right we're having right now. It's nice to see. It's not like a repeat. Like, oh, it's an Iron Man game with everybody else or a Cap game. It's a whole different perspective looking at the Avengers, kind of like a point of view character. And then we see AIM, which we're going to talk a little bit more about, who they are. And then the new villain, MODOK. So, uh, you know, this game has been under a lot of scrutiny for visual effects, right? How the game looks. Uh, there's been the a Lord, lot of The Lord Farquaad uh, <laughs> Black Widow <laughs> comments in the yes. beginning. Oh, that was rough. Yes, <laughs> we may have... Uh, can't unsee it. Well. Yep. Can't unsee it after you, after it's said. Can't unsee it. Um, so this trailer, we know that it's like, right? It's supposed to be looking better than everything else. Uh, when I first watched the story trailer, I mean the story, I like. Right? I like. I like AIM. Mm-hmm. You know, they're the AIM stands for Advanced Ideas Mechanics. Just so you guys know, and essentially they're a group of scientists that want to take over the world via technological means. Yep. But in the game, I'm sure they're going to start off as not right, and then transform. There's going to be a lot of punching fodder with those guys in yellow suits. Yes. A lot, lot of punching robots. fodder. Yeah, a lot of robots, a lot of a lot of dudes in yellow hazmat aim suits mm-hmm. that you're just going to be able to knock the hell out of. But looking at the story, I still feel, the story trailer, I'm like, I still feel like it's rough around the edges. It doesn't look yeah. as clean and crisp as something I would expect from a PS4 game. Like, you're, mm-hmm. direct comparing, you're directly comparing this game to Spider-Man. Not even Avengers, unless Spider-Man in the same universe, it's a Marvel character, looks fantastic and smooth, and then we look at this one, and it looks like it's a generation behind graphic-wise. But mm. when I watched the gameplay trailer, for me, it looks nice, right? It looked, yeah. I was able to live with it. We saw, it was like a, a seven-minute trailer or something, we saw Thor running around fighting, doing some cool stuff, like, I was able to get behind it watching the story trailer, uh, gameplay, I was like, all right. I can get behind this, I can get behind this, I can go overlook it, but it still leaves me a little upset, and I wanted to see what you were thinking about this whole situation, Chris, after watching both trailers and knowing all the behind-the-scenes drama of this delay and the fan outcry. I wanted to see where you stand on this. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of in the same boat as you, Rob. Um, I, I think it's a game that's extremely big and tough to tackle. Um, not only... It, with the different characterizations, you have to have a, a cohesive original story in place. You have to have a multiplayer tier, a co-op tier, and your single player tier is almost like a co-op and multiplayer tier as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I I think for me, it's more along the lines of comparing it. Not so much as um, what, what was the game you just said? I'm literally uh, Spider-Man. I was comparing Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Sorry, um, I'm not comparing it so much to Spider-Man as more well graphics wise. Yes, I get that. Gameplay, I'm more comparing it to a Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Okay. Um, an X Men Legends. Games like that, where we've seen the formula work mm-hmm. in, hey, we've had this many players at this time and it works. But it works like this. Uh, you know, Ultimate Alliance works because it's very arcadey, it works as like an arcade mashup game. Um, to have this as a role-playing game, to have this as a single-player game, um, and have RPG elements and, and mix with the action, it's a completely different undertaking. Um, I personally will tell you right now, I'm going to wait till next gen to get this game. You are, because they. I'm they waiting till next upgrade. gen. I'm waiting for next gen to get this game. I'm just going to buy it on next gen. Two reasons. Um, number one, if it's available for next gen, why the hell not? Number two. Um, I think this game is going to need time on top of its release to work out a lot of kinks. Oh, okay. I think it's going to need a a couple extra months for updates, for kinks to be worked out. I know they've delayed it twice already. Um, I still, like you said, Rough Around the Edges, I think is one of the best things to kind of compare it to. Um, I do think it looks awesome. I when it they looks said fun. It looks fun. when yeah when they said playing like thor is playing like kratos except he can fly like you saw it boing, in the gameplay trailer 
yeah, that's amazing. I want to do that. Mm -hmm. Um, But again, how are other things going to differ, right? I I need more explanation. How are we going to, like, is flying like Iron Man going to be more of like hovering? Or is it going to be flight, which is very hard to do in video games? We've seen how many Superman games have failed at that. So you're you're more concerned about the mechanical issues and the system bugs than the looks. Yes, I, I think okay. the looks are going to be as good as they're going to get with the amount of stuff on the screen that you're not going to be focused on these little, you know, background elements and stuff because there's so much going on. Um, okay. I think the mechanics are the biggest thing right now as well as the flow of gameplay, right? We know we play as Kamala Khan in the beginning. Yeah. We know she, we, we know kind of like the beginning of the story. Obviously, we don't want to know too much because mm-hmm. that's the fun of playing it. But we know Kamala Khan is trying to get the Avengers back together. She figures out like they were set up. Um, yeah. Whatever happens in the West Coast Avengers branch when stuff gets crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, so are we playing as Kamala through that? And then do we choose who, which character we switch off as? Is it a natural progression of who we switch off as? I think it's as? a natural progression. Like you, you're going to be essentially forced to play through all the characters to get the full story. Which Kinda I'm like okay Mortal with. Mortal Kombat storylines, you know, you yeah. play through the characters. It's going to be something like that. And Mortal Kombat, the most recent one, it's more fluid, right? You, yeah. How they change from person to person. So I can see that being the case here. Now, yeah. I wanted to talk about the story aspect of this, right? Sure. So I know we're both in the same camp. Um, as I'm sure many of you are, that we kind of want tidbits of the story, but we don't want to know the full story. Yeah. So, f- after watching the story trailer, what can you glean from this that the main story is going to be about? I think, I think we're going to get a big time, almost like it's going to be a mix of mind wiping with Modok because they showed Modok, um, and Modok's really good for tech and mental stuff right yes um and obviously i think we're gonna get time travel i don't think cap's gonna be dead for long i why why make an avengers game if you're not eventually going to be able to use cap um i think we could have the big bad either be a mandarin uh because the big bad no modok's not the big bad overall um modok is usually a pawn of the game of, of the, the game. game, or are you talk about yeah. the big bad of like the Avenger video game franchise, if you will. No, of this game, I oh, don't think okay. it's Modok. You don't think it's Modok? No, I, I think it's going to be a Mandarin, a Red Skull, uh, an Ultron, something like that. Mandarin um, would be cool. Mandarin would be awesome, especially since you know we know Shang Chi. Even though everything's pushed back because of COVID, we know Shang Chi is going to have him in the movie. But if it's um, an Inhuman. Because we have Camilla as an Inhuman, even though she doesn't really play in the Inhuman world too often. Well, wait, I think we did be. see more Inhumans popping up, or like the origin of the Inhumans in the in the pods. Yeah. Um. Perhaps. Uh. We know there's going to be. I. I mean, one of the really cool aspects that I I think is great. Um. Is we know we're going to get more Marvel characters mm-hmm. eventually down the road as free DLC. So maybe more um, DLC stories you're thinking, or just more DLC. Uh, yeah, the characters? stories will probably be paid like any other DLC. Okay. But I think the characters, the characters they said will be free. So, I you know I don't know. It may connect to something else. I can see Modok works with a lot of different people. Uh, he's obviously involved in AIM. Yeah. Um, he's worked with the Mandarin. Uh, I, 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 the I'm going right back to like the '90s Iron Man cartoon with Mandarin and Modok. Yep. Um, so like I, I don't know. It could be a bunch of different things wrapped up into there. Um, well, I don't think they're gonna focus too much on the Iron Man side of things because like. That's what the whole MCU is. I think they want to make their own unique story here. And well, I, I think like- a part of it's going to be. It's going to be hard not to with how popular Iron Man is as a character, and especially yeah. since Robert Downey Jr. is no longer in the MCU. I, I think it's going to be... I don't think it's going to be Iron Man-centric. Okay. But I think that, like, you know, every video game has chapters. Story video games have chapters. I think there's going to be a couple of main Iron Man specific chapters. Mm-hmm. Um, especially since, you know, not only do we need you know, people want Iron Man just as fans, they're they gotta push Iron Man VR too. Uh for reasons to buy that game too for VR fans and uh which looks absolutely awesome. Well in the trailer we know we saw like in uh going into the gameplay trailer, like yeah. Thor gave up his powers, right? Or something to that effect was mentioned. His or he's, hammer he's, was at 
the grave headstone of Steve Rogers. Yeah, it's like the Avengers disband. Mm-hmm. Um, Thor in his, which is really comic, not deep cut, but it's a cut. Um, is Donald Blake, who's like the Doctor, um, like the Thor, the fake Doctor, which you see in Thor one, where yeah. he has like the fake patch. Um, so yeah, Thor's like Donald Blake and he comes out and like something happens and he calls Mjolnir, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I, I think that's going to be awesome. If Thor plays like Kratos, I'm totally fine. I don't care if it's copying mechanics like Kratos and the Leviathan axe. That was perfect when you played as Kratos. Um, and when you play as Kratos, you're like, holy crap, it's like Mjolnir, but an axe. Because it comes back and you can throw it and do stuff. And they're saying it's like Kratos, but he could fly. That sounds amazing. Um, you know, some of the, the customization stuff. Awesome. I That's wanna be right. able to customize to my play suits. style. Yeah. I wanna be able to put Hulk in a suit like in the nineties. I wanna be able to put him in his World War Hulk armor. Um, you know, I want Iron Man in his, you know, Hulk Buster armor or the space Ooh. suit. Like, I wanna be able to customize if I want this character to be more of a, a faraway blaster type mm-hmm. or a brawler type or a mid range. Let's, that's awesome to me. So my Thor is different than your Thor, etc. Let's go back to Camilla Khan, right? Because yeah. obviously she, I feel like she's going to be the main character. Like, if anybody's the main character, it's starting to feel like it's a Camilla Khan game. She's yeah. getting the Avengers back. Obviously, we're going to get her origin story, learn more about the Inhumans. Mm-hmm. Does this mean we're going to get more Inhuman Avengers uh, intermingling in the games? Because for the longest time, Inhumans have kind of been like, Worse than the X Men in the fact that like segregated, like the Inhumans, are, Inhumans have usually been segregated to their own little pocket of the MCU. I'm sorry, yeah. in Marvel Comics, right? Sometimes yeah. they cross over very rarely. They kind of just deal with their own thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, at least in my knowledge from reading comics the past however years I've been reading, yeah. But, like I'm, f- I'm starting to feel like, especially Camilla Khan is kind of like that bridge between worlds because we've seen Camilla Khan even in the comics interact with the rest of the Avengers. Does this yeah. mean now with this video game where you can play as multiple characters and we know we're getting more characters down the road, does this mean we're going to get more of an intermingling between Inhumans and Marvel characters, kind of like softening the blow to have more Inhumans in live action or TV again after that debacle we had with the TV <laughs> show? Yeah, I, I think they have to, right? Um, I, I think after the show, you kind of like go away for a bit and just don't even talk about the show. <laughs> um and, but some of those characters are insanely cool. Mm-hmm. Um, the Inhumans are great characters. They have a great storyline. Um, and, and yeah, the last time I think in comics, me personally was the best Inhuman part of comic books was uh, Jonathan Hickman's Infinity event in between his Avengers events, mm-hmm. um, where Thanos comes like to Black Bolt and basically tells him, <laughs> like give me give me all the children under a certain age because he's trying to kill his own son. Yep. And like Black Bolt screams no and destroys Adelant mm-hmm. and Thanos in it. And it's like one of the most ultimate, not only sacrifice moments, but ultimate just moments I've ever seen in human storyline mixed with Avengers, mixed with everything else have. Um, I, I think, yeah, if you're bringing Kamala Khan in and it has to bring the Inhumans in because if you're going to put Kamala Khan and, and this isn't anything against Kamala Khan, mm-hmm. but if you're going to have her be the focus when you can basically have Mr. Fantastic with the same power set That's and people would, yeah. people would go three times as more crazy to play as Mr. Fantastic. You got to kind of have a, another incentive behind it, right? You got to mm-hmm. kind of have, whether it's a, a chapter where, you know, she goes to Adelan for help or, oh, or the Avengers go to Adelan for help or whatever the case may be. Um, uh, you would think there has to be some type of inhuman factor involved in this game in some form. Now, going back again to Camilla, like just, I was saying, like they're bringing the humans back up now because we see Camilla Khan in the video game. We know she's getting her own TV show, right? Is she? Uh, Oh yes, yes, she is. She's getting a Disney, Disney Plus Miss Marvel, on yeah. Miss Marvel, right? So yeah, in the future sometime. A lot of Miss Marvel coming up, right? Does that yeah. mean that we're gonna see her on the big screen? I know, like we we kind of like thought of that with the TV show, right? But does this yeah. seeing her in this video game does that solidify the fact for you? Like for me, it does. yeah, I, I think. We're I, I think. Yeah, I think. I think 
and I, I think what you're getting at is like video games mean more now when when characters in this type of world are, are appearing right yeah. like so like in the old days it's like oh it's a video game like you can put anyone in there and it's just a video game now it's no like they're you know if you've watched the mandalorian documentary at all half of the tech they use for their special effects are video game engine tech mm-hmm. and vr tech um so video games mean a lot more now than they did even 10 years ago um so yeah i think so they they, they planned the show already I, I think the show even announcement solidified her. Um, she's a very unique character, Muslim female character, teenager, living in Jersey City. Yeah. Um, and and her world kind of just changes one day when she mm-hmm. finds out she's inhuman, or a descendant from an inhuman. And so uh, she's a very unique character, very popular character, very fun to read. Like I read her and stuff. Like they do her very. And she's well. a, She's in Champions? Yes, yeah, she's too? fantastic in Champions. Yeah, so she's... And Kamala's kind of like the nerdy, like, fangirl who, like, is a superhero, right? She's like, hey, oh my god, it's it's Miss, it's Captain Marvel, it's Iron Man. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, but you have powers, too. Like, you can do mm-hmm. stuff, too. And she's like, yeah, but, like, I'm such a huge fan. You know what I mean? Like, so yeah. she kind of gives, which I think is a really cool thing for this game, the human element, like, our element, of being in this game and saying, oh my god, look, there's Iron Man, there's Hulk, there's Thor. Um, so that'll be a very interesting dynamic where these guys are kind of like uber depressed mm. and like kind of just done with life and hiding out and, and doing nothing or something. And Kamala's like, oh my god, you're you. Uh, that kind of gives it the human element, which I think is really smart that they did. So yeah, I, I think she's going to be an interesting gateway character. Um how far you can upgrade her and how far her power set goes is good, you know, still to be seen and going to be interesting Mm -hmm. to see if she's one of those either co-op players or multiplayer characters um, or main story characters that you could eventually upgrade. Like, are the upgrades going to be like Ultimate Alliance where I don't know. You can just upgrade power sets and different forms and super moves and stuff like that. So it'll be interesting to see. I'm very interested and I know I'm moving off of Kamala and more into like mechanics, but it's going to be interesting to see how, hey, this, we're not just copying other games and putting them together, right? Like, it's not just Kratos that could fly. It's not just, you know, I, I'm very interested, I don't actually. I there's a in, lot of people that are worried about that, you think? No, I mean, I, I'm worried that it's going to be, I'm worried that it's going to be the basis of Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Okay. But very vanilla, but style done stuff. worse. If okay. that makes sense, like I, I think my worry is, hey, we have Mo- Marvel Ultimate Alliance. It's very comic booky. It's very good. It belongs on the Switch. It's made for the Switch. Um, that's very fun and arcadey, and it makes sense. But when you bring it to this, like you know, Unreal Engine, uber real level, uber RPG, that's not going to do it. Um, so I think some of the mechanics are yet to be seen. I think some of the characters might be fallen by the wayside, depending on who has really cool stuff. Power sets and stuff, yeah. Yeah, and but I think some of the cooler characters may be like a Black Widow, who has kind of almost like a Hitman mixed with Assassin's Creed type power set. And you right? might like, have to use her for certain missions that you won't be able yeah. to use other people. So like, you have to get them to be stronger. So yeah. like, oh, like oh, it's an infiltration mission and espionage mission. You have to play Black Widow. Okay, I have to upgrade her, otherwise I won't be able to pass it. You know what I mean? Exactly. So it could be stuff like that to kind of get around everybody just picking Thor and Hulk all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and the other thing is, um, besides just mechanics, the characters, right? Like, I know, like Insomniac Spider, like Insomniac Spider Man is set. Yeah. It's set. We have, you know, a huge first game. Mm -hmm. We have kind of like this 1.5 or like Uncharted Lost Legacy, Miles Morales own game before, you know, I'm sure they're making two. Um, Is there going to be a Spider-Man in this game? No. Is there going to be like a Peter Parker in this game as a DLC character? I think there's no, uh, probably maybe as a DLC character, but I don't think they're going to touch on Spider-Man. What I think they're going to do Eventually, I could see maybe a crossover in video games, right? Because it's I'm that'd be crazy. Very confident that Insomniac Spider-Man is in his own universe. This is in its own universe. Mm-hmm. With Miles in there, you know, you can't help but feel a Spider-Verse event would happen 
or multidimensional that would happen within them or the Avengers that could lead to a crossover and everybody working together. I could definitely see that. So that would probably be cool. Uh, I don't know cool. how that would work out. Would it be an Avengers game? It's so different. Would it be like a crossover in video games? Has it really been done to that level, right? Yeah. Because crossover video games, you think of, oh, I think of Smash. I think of yeah. other. Uh, Sony also Marvel versus Capcom. Right? Stuff like that. Yeah. And it's kind of hard to dictate kind of like the story. Like Tekken Street Fighter was a thing. And Mortal Kombat and like Tekken and stuff. Like there are yeah. things like that. Like the fighting games, you could do it, right? Because exactly. it's it's the same thing, you know. Uh, Mortal Kombat DC Universe, same thing. Mm-hmm. Um, now I have two questions for you. Yeah, what's up? Number one, are you getting this game? And if yes, this gen or next gen? Mm-hmm. And number two, um, we've seen kind of the core Avengers, minus arguably Hawkeye. Mm-hmm. Which I feel like Hawkeye's moveset would be sick for this game, especially his long range, just like boop, 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 boop. Yeah. Um, but what are characters that you haven't seen that you really want in this game? Like, what are the Marvel characters that would sell you a hundred percent? Like, if I could play as this person, I'm buying it day one, regardless of of upgrade, regardless of you know possible updates and ticky tack problems. Got you. So. First question, am I getting this game when it comes out? Yes. I'm not waiting to next gen because I don't know when I'm getting next gen. Uh, I know I want to get this game day when it comes out. I got to play it. You know, I I just hope I'm not disappointed. But yeah. if they could put any character in there and day one I'm buying it, even if it looks like a hot piece of garbage. <laughs> garbage. I mean, if they put Iceman from X-Men. like that's uh, just, I, I knew you were going to say That's not Iceman. even a question. I'm like, yeah, I'm buying oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to fly around and do all the ice things. Yes, oh, that'd course. be sick. Why uh, not just upgrade to Silver Surfer? Uh, <laughs> Silver Surfer's pretentious, man. I don't Silver know. Surfer's he's, awesome. He's very pretentious. He's kind of standoffish. He's, he's like, pretentious. you shouldn't be doing that. That's not good. I said, it's like, yo, it's funny. Ha, huh? come down. Let's relax. I can make a snow golem for you. You want to build a snowman? He builds him a snowman. Like, I, he's awesome. I think it would be cool to upgrade Bobby into, like, the, the, the wizard golem Bobby. wizard. Yes. That would be sick. Oh, stop. I, I got a couple. I don't want any X Men in there because I want them to make an <laughs> X Men only game now. They have yeah. yeah they they could make one now. They could. They haven't made one. T- I mean, there's X Men obviously in Ultimate Alliance, but they haven't made a real X Men game since I think like X Men Legends for PS2. Now, can you imagine like Insomniac, Spider Man has his own Avengers and like the Avengers team, like and people come in and out, right? Because that's kind of Avengers. It's Avengers, like the yeah. job of the superheroes. You come in yeah. and you do your own thing. So you could have interplay of characters, but then an X Men only game. And awesome. then they all cross over, oh, that'd be sick. Ooh, and they fight Galactus because oh, that'd be amazing. Uh, Galactus debuts in the Fantastic Four game. Ooh, well, I, that's what I was gonna say. I think there's a chance you might get some FF in this game. Oh, or, I would like or, FF in this, or as DLC. I think um, FF would be a great DLC because you could do a yeah. whole story mode with them. And yeah, introduce it. I think that would be cool because you don't want to do. Sorry, you don't want to do the Fantastic Four. And just characters, you want to do more with them, right? Especially yeah. when you have the Inhumans. So like, if you're building the Inhumans lore and the regular Avengers lore, right? And then you have interchangeable characters coming in. Cool, ha, ha they're fun. But such a big pillar in the Marvel Universe, such as the Fantastic Four, which we haven't seen in a long time. Like, X-Men yeah. you could get away with, right? Because you have the movies, everybody knows them. The Fantastic yeah. Four has fallen by the wayside in the current mind state of pop culture and comic books and nerdum. So I would appreciate a Fantastic Four DLC, and then have man, a- if you let me fight Doom in uh, the main story nah. in the DLC, I'm buying it. You can't, you can't fight Doom. It's too much. If you let me fight Doom, I'm gonna buy it. That's it. Um, but characters, yeah, characters I really want. Yeah, who, who uh, want? Uh, one, I want something different, like Doctor Strange. I want like a mystic oh, arts master, so like magic. I'm just sitting here floaty and you know this and uh I want the crimson bands of Ciderac tying dudes up. Um I bet you I think that would be sick, especially with like graphics that are realistic. Um and then maybe someone like I mean it kinda goes with Black Widow, but Daredevil. Um Ooh. just in general, Daredevil would be awesome with the moveset. Um maybe like his dodging and abilities of evasiveness are I much still- higher. Maybe I'm being selfish because I want games of all this stuff privately, but like... Oh, I you're being so selfish. <laughs> I definitely think we can get a Daredevil game going, just like Batman. 
Oh, I, so I, easy. A hundred percent, but I don't think so they're going to do it. <laughs> no, it's because it's too similar, right? It's yeah, similar. I, I don't think they're going to do it, but you can easily get, do a Daredevil game by itself. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, or even like a Black Widow Hawkeye game, which I don't think would sell as well as Daredevil. Black Eye Hawkeye, um, that would not sell at all. But like, you could easily get a Daredevil or a street level hero game. Um, but yeah, I'd love to see characters like that. Um, or even like a Nova where he's like basically Ooh, airborne. Space. Get some space um, action. Yeah. Uh Guardians could be in it too. Who knows? Uh I don't know if the Guardians would be in it if the humans are in it. Maybe not. But, maybe um, DLC characters. Because Guardians maybe. I can see them being DLC characters for free, not needing a story. They could just come in, hey. Yeah. Now here's the other thing. Yeah. Do we know if this game is cross platforming? Ooh, I don't think they have enough. Does it that. have cross play? I don't because, know. Because can if I get it. Like, let's say I get it for PS5 in yeah. the future, and you have it for, you know, Xbox One or PS4. Mm-hmm. Could we do a co-op? Well, assuming if I got it for PlayStation 4 and you got it for PS5, I'm assuming that could cross over. That would cross over, right? Between Xbox and PlayStation, I don't know if they have the cross-platform capability. Because usually did. every game so far has been like cross platforming, cross platforming. Well, yeah, we're not in EA right now. We're we're in big boy. Yeah, we're not. In, yeah, we're not in EA anymore. We're, we're in big boy territory with you guys. <laughs> I don't know if they're going to do cross platform. I don't think they need to or want to. Ah, uh, yeah. Because like I feel like the the multiplayer is just going to be playing the story missions with your friends. That like that's to the extent that I'm thinking. Yeah. So I don't think so, but they could introduce that, and we'll, we just don't know. It'd be it'd be pretty cool. Um. Because, I, again, like, I, I'm very excited for this game, and I know everyone yes. heard me say I'm waiting for next gen. They're like, what, you? Um, yeah, I, I think it's going to be buggy. Now. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, no, I know, I am. Plus, there's a lot of games that are coming out. Like, there's still Ghost of Tsushima this year. There's still mm-hmm. a bunch of games coming out. Um, I don't know, man. I, I think it's going to be buggy in the beginning. I don't think it's going to be bad at all. Um, I really hope for the best for this game. It's a game that, you know, all of us as kids played with action mm-hmm. figures, right? It, it, this is the video game that we all dreamed of playing with action figures. <gasps> Ghost Rider um, would be dope, sorry. Oh, Ghost Rider would be so, so dope, dope in this game. Um, But, like, you know, oh, Namor, throwing him out there. Ooh. Um, But, like, if you have, oh, that could be the DLC for Fantastic Four. That's well. the villain in, in the That's DLC. The villain. Him and Doom. Uh, <laughs> do we get Beta Ray Bill? No! <laughs> That's like, well, yes! <laughs> Can we upgrade Thor to look like Beta Ray Bill? You could probably get Beta Ray Bill as a DLC character. DLC face on top of Thor, he wears a horse mask. Uh, like, like a cheap rubber horse mask. <laughs> a cheap rubber horse mask. And it's like labeled, and he has the, the sticker here, Beta Ray Bill. <laughs> Hello, my name is Beta. <laughs> oh, God. But All like, right. I, uh, yeah, no, I, I really hope this game does well because, uh, again, it's the game we've all kind of dreamed of forever uh, to happen in this kind of style and format. Um, but I'm going to wait a little bit because I, I think it's going to need some bugs to be kinked out. So we definitely want to hear your thoughts. And if you're getting this game day one, are you going to wait till the next gen like Chris is? Are you going to get it like me? What characters you hope to see? What your theories are for the story? Uh, and more importantly, you know, let me know who your favorite superhero is. It has nothing to do with this, but I want to know. I want to know. Moving on so I can to, tell you you're wrong. Exactly. It should always be Bobby Iceman or another <laughs> oh, X-Man. No. Or Batman. Those are the only options. Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs>